New country Croatia wishes to gain more power in Europe and in order to do this they send their lesbian pope as a peace offering to Hungary, but she is captured by the Hungarians and taken back to their castle where she must fight for her life. This is what I was doing when the Hungarian soldiers took me prisoner. What you are? A man asked from behind me, a woman. Where the fuck have you been hiding all these years? I did not want to give him any information so I kept my silence. The soldier laughed and said, you won't be able to keep your mouth shut with us around. Meanwhile also new country France wants to ally with the UK so they offer the Queen hand in marriage to the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. But he rejects them because of his relationship with Russia and UK. Then Russia sends their President Vladimir Putin to the UK to try and convince Boris Johnson otherwise. But once again he is rejected. After losing their lesbian Pope to Hungary, Croatia gets raid sent to Hungary to retake the lesbian Pope back. So now it's up to me to show them that I am not just a lesbian but I can also be a warrior as well. I tried to run but was caught by one of the soldiers and pushed onto the ground. If you want to live then you will tell me who you really are, he said in broken English. Why should I tell you anything? I asked him back with anger. He looked at me confused before saying, because if you don't then we are going to rape you. While this is all going down France and the Queen prepare to attack Italy in hopes of taking their land for their own they use their army of 5,000 swordsmen, and 10,000 light cavalry. With the help of France the Queen takes over Italy and makes them her vassals. The Queen has made Italy part of France and now she wants to expand her empire even further into the Middle East and Africa. After their recent defeat to Hungary Croatia begins research on a new technology rat launchers these will launch dangerous rats at enemies at close range with great accuracy and deadly effects. Now it's time for me to show Croatia what I can do. So they use the new rat lockers to invade Hungary, but they miss their mark and hit the royal palace instead. This was what happened to the king of Hungary. I was sitting outside my home eating dinner when I heard the sound of something exploding outside. I got up and went out to see what had happened only to find the king dead. My first thought was that Croatia had killed him because he refused to accept the peace offering from their pope. As I walked through the streets of my city a group of men came up to me. Who are you? One of them asked me. They were my guards for the night. They would stay with me until I retired for the night. My name is Lucia, daughter of the King of Hungary. I told them. One of them smiled and said, that's nice Lucia. Now get inside and make sure you lock the door. When I entered my room I locked the door so no one could come in. I sat down on the bed and started to think about things. Croatia needed to make up for this and pay for what they did. I couldn't let them do whatever they wanted after what they did to the king. Wanting to continue their journey to conquer Europa the French attempt to invent boats but the machines that they use to build them break easily and are very expensive to maintain. Then a soldier named Jean-Marie comes up with the idea of using sails to move across the water. Croatia after their victory of the battle in Hungary attempts to elect a new lesbian pope to trade to Salavina as a peace offering they will also give them some rat launchers. After making allies with France Italy decides to join hands with them and invade France. But on their way there a dark magic user known as a lich attacks them but they managed to defeat him. In the end of the war the Queen of France had lost her throne and now she must flee to England. Then Croatia tries to make an alliance with Salavina by offering the newly elected lesbian Pope. With Croatia having taken control of much of the Middle East and parts of Africa they begin to think of ways to expand their empire even more. The Queen of England has recently died and there is now a republic in place. After the Empire of France was booted out of France they retreat to the UK using their boats once they are there they offer boats to Ireland in hope of an alliance against Italy but the Irish refuse they decide to go to Italy anyway and use their boats to travel there. After a few months of traveling through Europe the Irish arrive at Italy but they soon discover that the Italian people have no love for them and they are treated as slaves. The Queen of Italy has seen how much power Croatia holds and wishes to take it away from them and become the new ruler of the world. So she gathers her forces and invades Croatia. Meanwhile in Britain the Queen has begun a war against the Republic. The Queen of Italy has decided that it is time for her to make her move on Croatia and reclaim what is rightfully hers. Soon after the Queen of Italy invaded Croatia, the Queen of England began to attack the Republic. Then the Queen of Ireland saw how weak the Republic had gotten so she decides to attack them as well. Meanwhile in Croatia the Queen has gathered all of her troops to defend her country. The Queen of Italy has found a way to bypass the defenses of Croatia and she is now ready to attack them head on. It's the last day of the war between Italy and Croatia and the Queen of Italy is about to win the war. While fighting against Croatia the Queen of Italy gets injured and falls unconscious. Irland and the UK begin their invasion of the Italian Republic in order to stop them from killing us all. After the Queen of Italy has defeated Croatia she now prepares to invade Ireland. The Queen of Ireland has realized that they have no chance of surviving the Queen's army and she decides to surrender. The Queen of Ireland has surrendered to the Queen of Italy and she now makes her her vassal. The Queen of Italy has now conquered Ireland and made it part of her empire. The Queen of Croatia requests a peace treaty with the UK to stop Italy from invading them. 
The Queen of England has now turned against the Republic and joins forces with Italy. The Queen of Italia has now conquered Ireland and made it her vassal. Croatia and Hungary attempt a last attack on Italy they call the strongest country ever Luxembourg and the war begins. Luxembourg is a large city that is known for its long history and strong military. Weeks later the war has ended with Luxembourg being defeated. The Queen of Italy has now officially declared herself as the ruler of the world. Croatia as a last effort allies with Rome to molest the Italian into surrendering the world. Rome has already been conquered by Croatia and they join forces with them to defeat the Italian army. After winning the war the Queen of Italy gives up all of her power to the Pope and now they are ruled by the Pope in Rome. There is only one problem the Pope has a rival someone who has been here since the start the lesbian Pope. The lesbian has gathered the state of Ohio for a final battle of Yope against the Roman Pope. The Queen of Italy has no choice but to defeat the lesbian Pope. The Queen of Italy has just taken control of the world now she must take care of the Pope who is her biggest threat. The state of Ohio used the powerful fingering to summon the only thing stronger that Luxembourg, the great empire of Utah they use empire to take over Rome and kill the Pope of Rome and also the Queen of Italy. The Queen of Italy is now dead and the Pope is now the one calling all the shots. Only two countries left to conquer now the lesbian Pope is planning her next move. After defeating the lesbian Pope the Queen of Italy now has sole control over the world and there is nothing anyone can do to stop her. The Queen of Italia has just conquered the world, and now she begins to conquer the Middle East. The Queen of Italia has now conquered most of the Middle East but she still needs to conquer the Holy Land in order to complete her dream. The Holy Land holds strong with the power of the new gay Pope the strongest Pope of all this would be the fight of the ages. The Queen of Italia has now conquered the Holy Land and gained full control of the earth. The Queen of Italia has taken over the world and has now made herself a god. Croatia decides to send a peace offering to the Queen of Italia in hopes of ending the war. The Queen of Italia accepts the peace offering and now they are allies. The Queen of Italia now has the Queen of Croatia as her vassal. The Queen of Italia has just gone through a lot but she is still determined to take over the world. The Queen of Italia has now conquered all of Europe. Now it's time for the Queen of Italia to take on the world. In the end the Queen of Italia has won every single war against everyone and now she is the ruler of the world.